every single day there's a lot of money coming in and out of the stock market and just in a single day alone there could be a lot of price fluctuation in a single stock but the stock price doesn't really tell you whether or not this stock is a good investment or not so in this video i'm going to share with you the two main points that you need to look at when it comes to valuing a stock and to determine whether or not it is a good investment <music> Hi everyone, Jasper here. I help young parents to grow their wealth automatically so that they can spend more quality time with their loved ones. You see, the most common question I get asked is whether or not a stock is a good investment or not. And it's really very difficult to answer that question because a lot of in-depth analysis is required before determining whether or not a company is worth investing. Just because a stock price comes down doesn't mean that it is a bargain. Neither does the stock price going up means that it has potential to do better. So if you intend to take stock investing seriously, you need to first identify processes so that you can make better investment decision and not just only looking at the stock price to determine whether or not it is a good investment. To help you understand how to value a company, let's take DBS as an example. So what you can do is to go to Yahoo Finance. And when you are here, you can search for the company, DBS. So when it comes to this page, it gives you very key data such as the market cap, PE ratio, earnings per share and so on. Now the first area you want to look at is how much the company is worth. Now most people look at this as the market cap where it means the total outstanding shares multiplied by the current market price which gives you a market cap of 51 billion for DPS. But you see this takes into account the stock price which may fluctuate very drastically each day. So instead we want to look at the book value of a company. The total assets of a company minus off its total liabilities equals to its book value. Because as a stock investor you are basically a owner of a business and when you own a business you want to know exactly how much cash is there, how much inventory are there, how much any kind of properties do they own and stuff like that so in the case of dbs it has a book value of 21 dollars and five cents per share and at the time of this recording dbs is priced at 20 dollars and 25 cents which means that if you go in at this price and the company sells off all its assets at the book value and realize all its liabilities you will still make a profit however just by looking at the book value alone has some limitations because that only shows how well a company man manages its balance sheet for example, how well it builds its assets, you know, keep their liabilities low and how well it builds up their cash reserves and stuff like that. It doesn't really tell us the profitability of a company for the next few years to come. So the second area you want to look at is the cash flow. Now imagine this, if you are a business owner, you want to find out how much cash flow your business is generating because that cash flow could result in a higher dividend payout or a better book value. So Yahoo Finance is a very good tool for an initial assessment of a company because it consolidates all the key data for to take a look before you go on to read the annual report so under the financials tab you can see the income statement balance sheet and cash flow and when we want to look at the profitability of the company you want to look at the cash flow a lot of times when we do stock analysis is based on past performance which may not be a good representation of future performance but it gives us a good indication whether or not the company has been doing well over the recent few years and then we can predict how it will do in the next few years to come so under this cash flow tab we can see that over the past few years 2019 2018 and 2017 and so on now we see that in these five figures alone there are three good years and two bad years so this only gives us a very broad overview and what we need to do is to go in depth to read its annual report to find out what exactly happened in 2017 and 2018 so that we can make a better judgment on whether this company is a good investment. So because there are hundreds of listed companies out there and it's very time consuming to take a look at every single company. So its book value and its free cash flow is a good indicator whether or not you should take some time to dive deeper into this company. If you are using the book value per share, it is very straightforward because it immediately tells you how much the company is worth. And if you value a company based on its cash flow, what you are doing is to put yourself as a business owner point of view and how much you expect to receive out of this investment for the next 10 to 20 years or so and all you can do is really to get a ballpark figure and it's better to be roughly right than precisely wrong and now the question of the day what have you been doing to value your stocks i would love to hear from you do comment down below thanks for watching everyone do help me to hit the thumbs up button below it really means a lot to me and do consider subscribing to my channel to be updated on my upcoming episodes and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any videos Thank you.